In this Cinelera tutorial I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Ok well I've tried to work with Cinelera off and on for quite some time and to be honest with you I've given up. It's never been that good in my opinion um, until the new Cinelera which is the GG Infinity. It's a vast improvement over any of the other um, Cinelera versions. I can edit a lot more different formats of video with it and it, it's pretty stable. Um, I've, I've left a link to the website for um, the GG Infinity version. Like I said it's a huge improvement over the old versions of Cinelera. Um, so the first thing you've got, hopefully you've managed to upload Cine Cinelera and you've got it on your system working okay. The one thing you might find is some of these um, boxes cover up the things you need to use to make sure that you can see everything because um, these boxes are all individual. Um, and so basically let's start editing. You don't need to do anything, you don't need to change your setups or anything. Um, so make sure this tab here is selected um, and it says media and then if you come over, I won't go using shortcuts, I'll go around the long way if you come over to the button that says file left click on file and then left click load videos now you can navigate using this button here up a directory so let's go up a few and just double click the um, folder where your videos are stored. The one thing I would recommend, unless you've got a good memory or you want to write down the videos you need to use, because there doesn't appear to be any option of thumbnails here, is put the videos you want to use in a separate subfolder. So once you've done that or you know which videos you want to use, just select the videos you want to use and also make sure that you select something called create new resources only if you left click on the button you'll see a few options so just make sure you've selected create new resources only and you can apply this so it opens up like this every time and then just left click on the little tick submit the files and then You'll have to wait a bit while they're imported in. So you've got all your clips imported in. So first thing, Cinelera I would not advise the use of if you're going to mix match your videos. So if you cobble in something off of different videos from the internet and whatnot, Cinelera isn't for you. But if you're like me and you use the same format, this is straight out of my camera. These are MTS files straight out of my Canon, um, not being re-rendered or anything. So it's right off the camera. So in the old Cinell era, you have to muck around doing settings and whatnot. Assuming all your videos are the same, just right click on one of them. And then next to match, you've got something called match all. Just left click on this. And the next thing you need to do is decide whether you're going to try and edit your files. These are quite long and it will get laggy. So what I'm going to do is use proxy clips. If you've never used a proxy clip before, what it is, is a re-rendered video clip, which is a lot smaller. Um, it means that, especially when you've got large clips, or even if you were to, say, edit 4K video on a non 4 k computer, you can still do it. Um, so, because I'm going to use proxy clips, this you don't have to, you can just jump this part, but if you're going to use proxy clips, come over to settings and left click on settings, then left click proxy settings. Again, don't change anything, but what you want to change is the scale factor. At present it will just be original size which isn't that much use so just left click on the box that says original size and select the size so I'm going to select the quarter the 1-4 which will give me a 25% um, 
file size of the original. Once you've done that, left click on the little OK tick. And then select the proxy box here above media and you'll have to wait for your proxies to load and when they appear in this box I will come back to this okay well I've got four clips now in the proxy um, box so we need to edit these clips your initial editing you do in this viewer here so place your pointer of your first clip and literally double click it and it will appear up here and now you've got option of playing your video to the point where you want to start so we'll start here and then you've got a few little tabs here one says in point so left click on the in point assuming this is where you want to start and then you can left click normal forward again and stop and then this time left click the out point now one thing you must make sure you do because you're getting a right mess until you get used to using uh, Sinalera is make sure that the marker in this these tracks here is at the beginning so just come over to the tab that says rewind home and left click on it so that you can see your timeline marker here now if you look there's a little tab here the red box and it says overwrite so left click on this and this will put your video into your first track the other thing especially on some of the smaller clips you may not be able to see them is because of this setting here this duration visible in timeline so you can change this by left clicking on it so you can change the visible length in your track so I change this to point 2 you can muck around with it change it it's just a matter of getting used to it okay now make sure that your um, marker is at the begin or at the end of your first track and literally double click your next video now this one I can just drag this marker over by holding my left mouse button down till this chap disappears here and again I'm gonna go in point and now I'm gonna drag this over till we get to there very quickly and this time I'm going to left click on the out point left click overwrite and it will bring your next track in now your timeline marker needs to be at the end of this track so make sure you, ju you left click on jump to end otherwise you're getting into all sorts of messes so your marker must always be at the end of the, of the last track you imported so let's do another one so double click on your next track and this is one of the reasons I like using proxy clips because this is quite a long drawn out video so I want to literally drag through till I get to this point here where the train's just appearing and again I'm gonna go left click on in point and if you place your pointer over this it will move the point you need to make sure you're slightly away hold down your left mouse button and drag your video over till say there and I'm gonna left click on the out point now I need to bring the video into the track so I'm gonna left click on overwrite and we've got this one in this track here make sure you're at the end jump to end and we'll do one more double click it and again this is another one that goes on forever so I'm going to just drag this over till we're there left click on the in point drag this over to there and left click on the out point 
and then come over to overwrite and bring the video into the um, into track one take your video right to the very beginning by left clicking rewind home now one of the things you might find if you play the video you won't have any audio so I'm going to just stop it here go back to the beginning and this is more likely because your output set up wrong so if you come into settings left click on settings and then preferences underneath device it will say default now my monitor is an HDI, HDMI monitor so clearly this isn't going to work so if you left click on the little tab you need to find an audio that matches your output so there's something here called HDA, ATI, HDMI 3 I'm going to left click on apply to make sure it comes up every time and then OK and now if I press, press play you probably can't hear it but I've got audio OK back to beginning now you don't need to arm the tracks uh, there's a little red button here it says arm tracks but you need to arm tracks when you're doing some of the transitions and whatnot. so as out of habit just left click and arm the tracks and you're ready to go the other thing I would do is there's a box here which has got a P in it if you left click on it it'll disable the proxies and wait till everything appears again this will disappear here and then come over to file and then left click on render so you got a few options come up here hopefully you got FFmpeg because you won't get anywhere without it, it should be set up on later versions of Linux you need to find somewhere to save this um, file I've already got something set up but I'll just quickly go through it look for file it's a little magnifying glass left click on this and then again use this up button to find your way around I'm going to place it in this box here next to um, the videos I edited you'll also see that you've got copies in there now these are your proxy copies so just left click on submit the file sorry you need to give it a title so just in the box it says file you need to type in a title forgot that so what should we call this trains right okay now left click submit the file and the next thing you need to do is select the format you want to use so left click on your little button and have a scroll through and see what format you want to use um, I'm gonna use M2TS which is a ver is what my camera films in so I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna left click OK and things just start moving this tab will move along here and your video will start moving and eventually you'll end up with a rendered video uh, clip I'll come back to this when it's finished right well once your um, videos have finished rendering hopefully just close these down I said before they're separate um, little gizmos hopefully we should have a sequence of edited videos and it's as simple as that Hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.